And welcome back to part three. If you've made it this far, congratulations, you deserve a cookie. So now we're in the third bin, which is actually considerably smaller than the previous two. So this video will not take as long. So first we have Heavy Traffic. Um, this album is famous for Feeling Alright. I was just listening to that song um, just before recording, and it's a really good one. Thin Lizzy, Bad Reputation. Who doesn't like Thin Lizzy? Um, Tchaikovsky, Concerto Number 1. Again, I have a soft spot for music. Don't judge. Tears for Fears, Songs from the Big Chair. Uh, it, this album has all the good songs on it. It has Shout, um, Everybody Rants to Rule the World. If you're a fan of Tears for Fears, get that album. Temptations, Greatest Hits. It's the greatest hits of the Temptations. I don't think I need to explain that. Three Dog Night, Golden Biscuits. Um, Harmony, Three Dogs Night, Triumph, um, what's that? Allied Forces, More Triumph, this album is, uh, Jethro Tull, oh, okay, I should explain this album. This is a really good album because it's... On this entire album, there is one song. This is one song... So, on the first side, it's about 26 minutes, I believe. And then on the other side, it's another 25 minutes. And it's just broken up like that. Thick as a Brick Part 1, Thick as a Brick Part 2. That is just... It's just such a ballsy thing to do. And yet they did it, and it really worked. It's awesome. Jethro Tall, Aqualung... Of course, great album. U2, War. This is another one of my favorite albums. I love this album. U2 is great. Um, Van Halen. This is another personal favorite of mine. I love Van Halen, especially the David Lee Roth era. Um, even though I did recently listen to 5150, and while I still don't think it's a very good album, I'll at least admit that it has its you know share of hidden gems. Um, following that, of course, Van Halen 2, great album. Women and Children First, another great album. 1984, that's another great album. That one has um, Jump, Panama, uh, Drop Dead Legs, Hot for Teacher, great album. Um, Wings, Venus and Mars. Uh, me and my girlfriend were actually listening to that um, together. We love this album. White Snake. This has um, songs like In the Still of the Night, Is This Love, and Here I Go Again. Great album, if you've never listened to it. Um, Tommy, The Who. We also have The Who... This is meaty, big, meaty, beady, and meaty, beady, and boingy. I, I just feel dirty even saying that title. But this is a really good um, Greatest Hits album. It has a lot of the stuff from the 60s, I Can't Explain, My Generation, The Seeker, which is one of my favorite Who songs. Um... Pinball Wizard, I Can See for Miles, all the great songs. Then we move into their stuff in the 70s with Who's Next. Um, of course, this is a great album. Live at Leeds, Who Are You, great album. Edgar Winter, Edgar Winter Group, this has great songs like um, Free Ride, Frankenstein. Um, now we move on to Y with Yes. Um, I don't remember what that album is. I think it's yet. Oh no, Tornado. Never mind. 
Up next we have Fragile, yes, this has the song Roundabout, which is a great song. Going for the One, this is a really underrated Yes album, especially the one song. I actually have this uploaded on my, um, this and many other songs uploaded on my, uh, me and my friends Classic Rock 1715 channel. Go check that out, or I'm, I'm sorry, it's not Classic Rock 1715, it's just called Classic Vinyl. Um, yeah, check that out. Classic vinyl. It's all one word. I, in fact, you know what? I'll even link it in the description. It's a great channel. Check it out. Make us happy. Um, another Yes album. This one has songs like, uh, what, what was the big one off of this? Da, 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 da. Owner of a Lonely Heart. There we go. Um, oh, that's where it says the name of it. It's 90125. I don't think that means anything at all. Maybe it does. The Best of the Young Bloods. My friend also gave me that album. ZZ Top, Greatest Hits. Of course, great album. Eliminator, ZZ Top, and Afterburner. And those are all of my uh, records. And actually, I was going to, uh, I was going to put this into uh, two parts. But since this is such a short video, I may as well just do all at once. Um, so yeah, jump cut. All right. So this is all my miscellaneous stuff, and also my seventy eights. So, first thing is Christmas with Johnny Mathis, or Mathis, I believe it is. Um, th these are all my Christmas albums, by the way, just in case uh, you couldn't tell. I kind of like to, um, I have a few Christmas albums, but I kind of like to keep them together into one thing. Um, the best of Christmas, this is like a variation of different Christmas music. Um, very, Merry Christmas, Brenda Lee. I hear this is worth something, but I don't know. It might not be. Christmas with Chet, uh, I don't know. I'm not even going to bother pronouncing that. This, I don't know what this is. I think this is, um, I want to say this is like a, I want to say this is like, um, Christmas with the Supremes, right? Yeah, Merry Christmas, The Supremes. Um, what else? Is, okay, this is um Elvis Christmas Holiday Magic. It's a compilation of different Christmas music. Elvis, more Elvis Christmas. Um, more Elvis. I don't know why I have all of this Christmas music, honestly. I should really get rid of some. Um, Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra. What's this? Oh, uh, I think we're getting into like, um, oh no, it's Barry Manilow. Okay. I should really get rid of that. Um, oh wait. Um, so that is Diana Ross and the Supremes. That's Greatest Hits. British Invasion. This is actually a brand new album. Um, like, from this year. It has a lot of um, good British songs on it. Like, um, The Trogs. It has Wild Thing. It has The Hollies. A lot of other different uh, obscure British bands. Really nice compilation. Um, so yeah, now we're getting into the compilations. Uh, there's this one. It has... I believe this has... Um, what do we have here? I think this one has Layla on it, at least. Oh, Leave On, Elton John. That's a good one. Oh, wait, no, this is the one that has, um, 
that one song by the doors that was written that was done after uh, Jim Morrison died into the eye of the sun yeah that's a good one um let's see we did that uh here's one these are a lot of like K-Tells. This one has a lot of um, stuff from the ABC Dunhill label. Um, a lot of Steppenwolf, a lot of Three Dogs Night, uh, Mamas and the Papas. This is a box set. This is Dion Warwick. Kind of a nice thing to keep. Barry Manilow, which I should really get rid of. I think I meant to get rid of it and then accidentally put it here for some reason. Um, Swingin' Four. And then I think I have a, yeah, I have another jazz album somewhere. Yeah. So, story behind these. Um, I, there is no reason for me to be owning these two albums, except that um, I got them as a tip. So, I have a newspaper route, for those who don't know. I have a newspaper route, and I got these two albums as tip one Christmas. And... I just appreciated the gesture so much. I was thinking to myself, no, I can't sell this. I cannot sell these albums. So I basically just keep these and actually maybe I might listen to them. Um, Sesame Street, I keep this basically because my mom wants me to for some reason. Mary Poppins, same thing. Um, Mary Poppins, this is, um, I think this is the actual musical or the, this, that's the actual soundtrack. And this is um, Mary Poppins. So basically, this is just albums I can't, I couldn't be bothered to put in my main collection. Um, here we have another uh, K Tell. That's another one. No, well, not necessarily K Tell, but a lot of these are compilations. This is the. This is interesting. This is the only ten inch I have. Um, the only 10-inch LP I have, and it is, um, Jackie Gleason. So, as you can see, it's, um, the size of a 78. I basically just keep this just for the novelty of having a 10-inch. Um, where are we? Yes, I know, this is not the best place for putting these albums, you know, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> um, here we have, oh, sorry, there we go, this is another k -Tel. here's another one, um, Dancing Madness, that's another k -Tel. another k -Tel. well, they might not be on the k -Tel label, but I consider, like, a lot of these compilations k -Tels. um, that's, like, a Greatest Hits Motown, um, High Voltage, no, it's not ACDC, it's just another K-Tel. Um, mix album, K-Tel, actually on the K-Tel label. Um, what's this? I think it's another K-Tel. No, um, well, yes, it's a, it's a mix album, but it's not necessarily on the K-Tel label. Um, it has Break On Through on it, which I believe is a pretty good one. Actually, I have the Doors LP now, so I might just get rid of that. Unless I find something else cool on it. Another k -Tel. And then these two are kind of interesting. Just kind of an interesting novelty to have. So I think these either came free with a Smith Corona typewriter. Or... Um, were purchased in use for a Smith Corona typewriter. I think um, I think Smith Corona is a typewriter company. If I'm wrong, you know, please let me know in the comments. But this is a touch typing course, and it's two albums, at least as far as I have, two albums long. Um, it's pretty interesting, actually. Just kind of an interesting thing to have, you know. Um, you know them teaching touch typing, you know, before the days of laptops or even really, uh, or even computers, or at least not very powerful computers. Um, and that's it, except for one last thing, which is this. This is, uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes. This is actually a really good box set. Um, get that out. 
And then it has a whole bunch of... It has about... It's about three albums long. So, yeah. So, that'll do it for my vinyl collection. There are uh, the other vinyls I had over there. So, yeah. Hours, eight minutes and 29 seconds. Oh, sorry. So, anyway. Bye.